Hi, my name is Amar. Now in the previous video, I discussed how to make the variables as reactive by using dot OBS. As well as I discussed two more ways to declare the variable as reactive by using Rx of type and by using dot generics. Okay. Now all those things which I have discussed in my previous video that is applicable for predefined array types, right? Now in this video, I will discuss how to make a custom class or a user defined class as observable or reactive. That portion I will discuss. Okay. Now here, as you can see in the output, what I will do is that again, there will be a text widget and there will be a button as upper. Now, whenever I will click on this upper button at that time, this name Tom will be converted to uppercase. How this can be done? That portion I will discuss by creating user defined class. Okay. So here what I have done, I have created a class named as student. As you can see, student.dart file is there in the lib folder. I have created a class student. Okay. Now a class can be made observable or reactive by declaring all the individual variables as reactive or by making the entire class as reactive. Okay. The first technique which I will discuss that will be by declaring the individual variables as reactive. As you can see here in this particular file, I have written the note classes can be made observable or reactive by making the individual variables reactive or by making the entire classes as by making the entire class as observable. Now here what I have done inside this class, I have two variables named as name and age with the value as Tom and 25. And after that, as you can see, I have used dot OBS. This means I have declared the individual variables as reactive. I have declared or I have created or I have designed the individual variables to be reactive by using dot OBS, right? After that, I will go to the main dot dart file. In this main dot dart file, as you can see, inside the class, I have created the object of the class student by writing where student equals to student, okay? Leave this, this I will discuss when I will discuss how to make the entire class as observable. Okay. Now, after that in the build method, as usual, there is a get material app in the home. There is a scaffold then there is app bar in the body. There is a center widget as a child of center. I have taken a column widget. Now in the column widget as a children, I have taken a text widget. Now this text widget is placed inside OBX. Now what is OBX that I have already discussed in my previous video. Then there is a sized box, then there is a raised button and in the raised button I have taken upper. That's why this button is available with the text as upper. And whenever I will click here at that time, the name should be converted to uppercase. And to do that, what I have done here, you can see in the text widget, I have used name is student dot name dot value. Student is nothing but the name of the object which I have created here after that dot name this name is nothing but the property which has been defined inside the student class and after that to get the value I have used dot value method right and that's why you can see it is displaying name is Tom because the value of the name variable is Tom right now whenever I will click on this particular button at that time, what should happen? The name should be converted to uppercase. And to do that here, I have written student dot name dot value equals to student dot name dot value dot to uppercase. I have used the dot to uppercase method to convert it to the uppercase. And since the value of this variable changes and since it is placed inside OBX, what will happen? The text widget will update itself and the name will be converted to uppercase. As you can see here, if I click here, then you can see the name has been converted to uppercase. This is how we can make the class observable or reactive by declaring the individual variables as reactive. Okay. Now there is a second way. In the second way to demonstrate, first of all, let me comment this. In the second way, what I will do again, I will declare the variable as name and age. And after that, I have created a constructor with the parameters name and age. Now I will go to the main.dart file. Now I will simply comment this and I will uncomment this. As you can see here, I have written for making the entire class observable while creating the object of the class. I have passed the value as Tom 
and age as 25 and after that here I have used dot OBS what it will do it will make the entire class as observable okay and after that now here you are not required to write student dot name dot value here I will write student dot after that value dot name okay and in the on prism method now I will comment this because this was for individual variables if you want to make the entire class observable and if you want to update then we need to use the update method as you can see here we need to write student dot update we need to call this update method which will take the type as student type and after that inside this method I have written student dot name this means I am accessing the name property of the student class and after that I, am, I have written student dot name dot to string dot to uppercase what it will do it will convert the name of the student class to uppercase and now since the property changes because we are updating we are updating the value of the name property and since it is updating and it is placed inside obx what it will do it will update the text widget okay let me run this and let me show you the output now if I can show you the output now click here see it is converted to uppercase this is how we can use or we can make the classes as a reactive by declaring the individual variables as reactive or by making the entire class as reactive this is the entire code for student class and this is the code for main dot dot file okay I hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching